these are my curd greens. They're pretty much baby vegetables that high-end chefs really love to use as garnish on meals. You can use them in soups and salads, and they have a lot more nutrients than their mature counterparts, so that's like one reason health-oriented people are really um, becoming popular with. And there are many applications. So yeah, pretty much are just they're ba smaller than baby greens, and they're above sprouts, so they're not quite sprouts, but they're in the, the middle ground. And um, the big thing with chefs is they like to use them as garnishes. Like if you can get colorful, colorful red, pinks, yellows, they really love to use that. It really wows their their uh, customers. And um, the big thing they harvest and go to harvest in two weeks, two weeks time to go from start to finish. So that's the huge, uh, huge benefit. It's very profitable. And this is uh, organic amaranth. The purple sprout, and the different herbs that you can have, uh, micro sprouts. Another thing, the flavor is a lot more uh, delicate and it's more stronger than the mature counterparts. And this is my business model. Um, I work at a marketing agency and we use pipedrive.com. It's a CRM system, so it like, organizes all your contacts and organize your deals and whatnot. So I use Yelp.com to pull restaurant information in the South Jersey, Philadelphia area. Upload it all to Google Sheets and upload it to Pipe Drive. And you can just call them one after the other and just pitch your idea. And the idea is you want to call the restaurants and get an in person meeting just to give them a free sample. And then go from there. Then we're trying to sell on the phone. And uh, yeah. This was my first attempt at growing my little greenhouse. <laughs> this actually didn't work out too well. It got really moldy. It was <laughs> long, pasty plastic. There's no airflow. So I learned from that. This was it as they were starting to grow up. They grow up like a little forest almost. So you just cut them across as they grow up. And this is my, in my house, my grow room I'm assembling. It kind of vertical rack so you can grow more in a smaller space. It's actually a shoe rack I got on Amazon here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is a, like a guy nice. Google images. This is what they look like when they're really producing. And um, this section is just um, when you scale up and on, on an industrial level, you can use uh -huh. Raspberry Pi computer chips to automate the pH, the heating, watering, temperature, humidity. You can do a lot of stuff with Raspberry Pi on an industrial level. Mm. Yes, humidity, mm. airflow, even pH. So that's always really cool. And the lighting. <laughs> These are my dog, that's my Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> nice.